All right, hi guys. I'm here at pattern-collections.com. Um, I'm actually under new patterns, um, but you can use the little uh, magnifying glass and just type in this pattern name. Um, it's squeeve, like a square weave. Let me, oh, I forgot to have it open ahead of time. Sorry about that. My computer. My phone has very little connection out here. Okay, so you want the green is pencil. Okay, it starts off, it it actually shows you having a, a grid here. I don't think it's necessary to have, but you do definitely need um, this. So you need a square and then another one around it, like an aura in pencil. And then what you're going to do is right here, you're going to do these little candy cane like things. And then here, 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 and here. And then that same sort of thing here. Okay. And then five, we're going to go this way. And then six, we're going to cross and connect those. And seven, we're going to do the other way. So we end up with that. So what I want to make sure I have is these these little J things are all going the same direction. That's the, that I think is the most important. So we're going to just give this a try. See what happens. I've moved my camera. So hopefully you guys can see a little better. Let me know if I still need to adjust things. Let me zoom in. This is a tiny page. This one is only not quite three, not quite three inch square. This one's small, which is okay. I'm actually going to do looks good. Good enough. Just as long as we have an idea. Okay. Start with that. And I want to make sure that my little J things are all going the same direction. And this one has to end up here. This one ends up about here. It's going to come down and it's going to be like connecting to this. So this top part has to end up here. Okay, let's just jump into it and see what happens. So, straight from the corner. And 
it's going to come up and do like that. And then this one is over a little more and is a little bit more of a curve, but it kind of comes straight to there. And I'm going to come this side and I do the same thing. This one comes from this corner kind of up like that. I'm making it kind of big and exaggerated, which is okay. I want it to end about there. Like that. Okay. And then this one comes up and ends over right there. And this one comes up here. So this one's attached to this. And this one's attached to that. Like so. That makes sense. Next, we do it again going this way. So this one's in the corner. And this one ends here. This one starts in the corner. And this one ends about there. Like that. And then we do the same thing. This one comes down to here. And around. And this one comes here to there. And then this gets connected to there, like that. And then this goes under there, Makes sense. And now we do the inside. Be careful with this inside one. So this is that and like that, and then skip. Skip. Yep. Like that. Okay. So far, so good. Don't screw it up, Don. All right. So now this one comes around and connects to that one. So pretend this goes through. If you need to use a pencil, do so. And it connects to this one. And this one connects to that one, like that. And 
the same thing again here. This one comes, connects to this one. And this one comes and connects to that one. Like that. I think we did it. I'm happy with that. Okay. Now. I want to make it look, look more ribbon-like. <laughs> On these inside corners, I'm going to do that. Now I need to make sure I've erased all my guidelines. And then we can do the shading. The shading is really going to help this really pop. So what was this called? Squonec squeeve? Squeeve. This Q U. Can I put it up there? Do I have room for the name? S-Q-U-E-A-V-E. -E. Squeeve. Shading time. Anywhere where there's an overlap. That would be in sheet and shadow. So anywhere there's an overlap. And inside this curve. Oh, stop barking, dog. Neighbor dogs just bark all the time, drive me nuts. It's been windy and all of a sudden it just turned off like, like a switch. It's really weird. Okay. Take my blending stump and just come along here and blend out all those spots. 
And if you think you made them too dark, you can always come in with your kneaded eraser and erase. What a little bit of shading does to this pattern. Amazing, huh? There we go. Look at that. That was kind of fun. I like that. That was a lot of fun. And see, my, my widths of my ribbons are not all the same. And it's okay. It doesn't have to be. That was fun. I may have to try that one again. All right, you guys have a great day. Um, I will see you on the next pattern. Um, don't know when this is coming up because I didn't bring my I didn't bring my uh, my calendar out here. So um, hang on, I guess. One second, you guys. Let me put my calendar up and see when this is going to go live. October, I need month. I need to see the whole month. And um, I did 33 days of Halloween, so 32, 33. Okay. All right, so this is going to be somewhere in the first week of November, I think. Anyway, uh, hopefully I can get caught up here with all my drawings. And uh, you guys have a great day. Um, I will see you on the next video. Stop bouncing. Go out and have, have a good day. Do something nice for someone today and make the world a better place. Just smile at someone. That's all we really need to do. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.